welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be about what year one of homeschooling has taught us. Obviously, I've been at this for one year now and the year is wrapping up, so I've learned some lessons about homeschooling that I want to share with you guys in case you're considering homeschooling too. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below for more homeschooling content like this, everything revolving around our family and homeschooling, and also the thumbs up button lets me know that you enjoy content like this so I know what to make for you in the future. So don't forget to hit that as well to let me know. Okay, so let's just get into it. Lesson number one that I learned, homeschooling is not as easy as I thought it would be. That sounds ridiculous, I know, I know. But I don't know, I'm just somebody who, when I get pumped about something, I go all in and I don't always think about the negative side of what could happen. It's just part of my personality. Um, I do research when it comes to like buying things for our home or deciding on curriculum, those kind of things. I think very thoroughly I will spend weeks at times before buying something and writing all the notes down and comparing other options. That's in my nature for most things, but when I get pumped about an idea of what I'm going to execute for my vision of our life, in a sense, I don't see the negatives. So I didn't, I just thought like, we're gonna do this, I'm pumped, homeschooling's for us, and it is. But I forgot to stop and think about how multiple children factor in, how um, the child who is your student, how their attitude affects getting the work done, how having a rough night with the kids and no sleep affects your day, how sometimes you just get burned out on doing curriculum and you need to change it up, or maybe like the house is a mess because I've been so focused on homeschooling and now I have to catch up with the house and just there's so many factors that go on. Homeschooling is a whole nother job and responsibility you're adding to your home and I did not fully process what that would look like. We still are in agreement, me and my husband, that this is what we want to do, but I just didn't see the challenges that would come alongside of it and the difficulties that would be enhanced. So just be aware, think about all of the factors going on in your life and be aware that it will magnify those things to an extent. There will be frustration along the way. It's just a matter of, kind of recalibrating your life and figuring out what needs to be done or changed or modified, whatever it is. Um, just figure out how to make it work. Number two that I learned, this is super important guys, that is listen to your child's body language. Their body will give you cues for what is working, what is not. It will tell you when their attention span is gone and it will also tell you when they're upset for whatever reason. With homeschooling, I didn't think about the fact that when my daughter couldn't figure out the answer to something, it would really upset her. I've learned that she is a very competitive by nature person, even if she's competing against her own self and her own expectations. And so pay attention to your child. They'll show you when they're done with the lesson and it's okay to stop at that point and reconvene another day. So I definitely have honed in on paying attention to my child when she's telling me, I like how we're studying this lesson. I don't like how we're doing it. I can only handle five more minutes of this and you know all the things in between they will tell you what's going good and what's not so just pay attention to that that's very important if your child isn't happy in homeschool it's not going to go well so pay attention to their body language another thing that i've learned is that the workload won't always get finished um, things happen things change obstacles get in the way like i kind of said earlier so i've had to learn I'm someone who naturally says like, we do the start to finish. Like if we started it, we're gonna finish it. Go hard or go home. Like that's my type of personality. By the way, I don't know if the zoomed out or not because the camera cut off on me, but let's go ahead and get back to it. But yes, things will happen and get in the way. And sometimes you just need to go ahead and not, it's not counting it as a loss for the day because you can always pick back up. That's what I have to tell myself all the time because naturally my personality says the opposite, but you can always pick it back up. So if you don't get the lesson plan done for the day, that is okay. It is, it is okay, you, you can move on when it's a better time to do it. Another thing that I've learned is homeschooling takes discipline and commitment. I'm a planner and if I don't, at least to an extent, plan out what I'm going to do, I don't execute. I lose my discipline. So it's important to figure out what works for you and to really stick to it because obviously if you're homeschooling um here in the state of ohio we just have to send we have to send in proof at the end of the year basically of what we have learned and done and 
you know, you're still held accountable for making sure your child's education happens. So make sure that you are staying disciplined and you are figuring out what makes you tick to get homeschooling done. So you need to set in place things that will help you stay on track and stay disciplined and keep track of your workload and just make sure that it's getting done. Not only to be held accountable to the school system, obviously, but just because this is your child's education, you chose to take it into your hands. Whoa, there's a huge storm outside that just happened out of nowhere. <laughs> Whoa. Um, but you know, you're choosing to do this, so give them the best opportunity. Give them everything you have and make sure that you stay on track and you get things done. Those things that you set aside at the beginning of the year and said, this is what we're going to get done. Stay on task and stay disciplined and get them done. Not only So then not only are you educating your child, but you're instilling into them what discipline looks like and what it looks like to finish out what you started. And another lesson that I've learned, which I'm going to wrap up with is that you have to consider those little non-school age children and factor that into the homeschooling um, if you can handle it. Because when they're younger than that school age, they're not mentally ready for school. They're going to still do their yeah, crying and throwing their tantrums the way they do. They're still going to expect the snacks and the extra attention. And even our little girl, she feels left out and she throws tantrums about that because she can't learn the same way Vivi is or even at the same time when I'm trying to teach her lessons. So you have to consider that as well. I've had to get creative and figure out how to keep her occupied during our schooling, ways to include her and help educate her on a very, like on a much smaller scale. And sometimes you also have to understand that once again, you just have to call it quits. When your child's just not getting along with it and screaming, are you really able to give your oldest child what they need? And so that's that's something that I've definitely had to come to terms with, with homeschooling and just work with it the best I can. Oh my goodness, everything is going crazy right now. There is my phone. I'm trying to film this video. I've had five calls from different people, text messages, there's a crazy storm outside. And I also have to go out in the garden and put away the blueberry bushes so they don't get killed. On top of that, my camera is turning off repeatedly. There's just so, so much going on. So I'm just going to wrap it up there. So. Those are things to consider about homeschooling that I've definitely learned along the way. And hopefully it helps you guys figure out if it's right for you or not. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button is there for more content just like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.